We don't like going on the road. It's very bad. We don't like going there. With the Indian government focusing on developing the archipelago, the plight of the Jarawa seems to come a distant second to other concerns. Especially now, the Andaman Islands have become the most popular destination for India's new middle class. The ruling nationalist BJP party is denying the Jarawa the right to self-determination, something the Jarawa say is unacceptable. We don't like the outside world. We don't want to have any contact and be too close to your world. We want to stay the way we are. Your world is bad for us. We don't like it. There are too many people. There's too much noise and no peace. Your world smells bad. We're at home here. This is where we want to live. Here we can find everything we need. In the evenings we're together. We sit down. We build a bonfire. We're happy together. We have no worries. Despite repeated requests, no Indian official was willing to be interviewed. Included in the vision of the Indian agency responsible for the Jarawa is to discharge its duties and responsibilities on behalf of India and the world to this unique heritage by conserving the ecology and environment to enable the indigenous people to live as per their own genius. But the temptation to force the Jarawa from their unspoilt beaches to build hotels might prove too strong whatever the declarations of goodwill the Indian authorities may have made. And with no clear policy or seeming will to protect them, how soon will it be before the world's oldest peoples simply disappear forever? Our reporter Alexander Rance joins us here. Alexander, thank you so much uh, for that report. Um, clearly, you were going to places where people hadn't been before, and certainly no white people. You could tell by the reaction that people gave. How difficult was it to make this film? The area is a restricted area, so you, you cannot go there. The, the Indian army is patrolling all the time, by boat, by plane. So this, this forest should be completely secured, but it's not, in fact. So we made our way inside this, this territory. We investigate for four years, and we've been there four times. Very small amount of day each time. And since then, the situation has worsened a lot. In 2014, the Jawa women have been abducted and raped by Indian men. And poachers go there, they give them alcohol, tobacco, and they hand the game, as you said. And now the situation is, is getting worse and worse because the Jawa are only 400 people left. You can see a comparison with American Indians, what happened to them, Native Americans, when the, the Europeans are, are landed in the 15th century, but this people is far more ancient. It's been there for many, many, many more years than the Indians in the what is now the USA. Yeah, the last studies revealed that uh, the Jarawa came from Africa 70,000 years ago. And the, the, the history is repeating itself, uh, in fact. We can see that what happened in America is, is going to happen now in the Andaman Islands. 